Hi, I'm Ryan Nickel, CTO at DSA Ocean, and today I want to talk about visualizing ship motion calculated in the Shipmo 3D toolset. So, what we're going to do is use a um, ship motion RAO database calculated in Shipmo 3D and use that in a Proteus DS simulation toolbox project to visualize and control ship motion in a seaway. Uh, what we're going to do is use the generic frigate project. This is one of the sample projects that's available. And the Proteus DS simulation toolbox uh, compatible motion RAO can be calculated in the application SeaKeep Regular. So SeaKeep Regular, it's an application in the Shipmo 3D toolset for calculating ship motion in sinusoidal or regular airy waves. And you can, uh, after having set up the ship mo motion model uh, already through uh, the other applications up to build ship, you can then evaluate ship motion in different forward speeds and, and directions and things like that. What you want to do is make sure you have this checkbox uh, ticked off here, export Proteus DS response amplitude operators. So when you run that, it just takes a minute or so, and you'll find the file here uh, and here it's named generic frigate proteus ds rao regular file so we can copy that and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to make a, a brand new proteus ds simulation toolbox project here uh, it's totally empty right now but we'll save it and we will save it uh, under this folder here We'll select this folder location and call it generic frigate. Okay. Now, just open the visualizer window here. So there's our virtual world. I don't have anything in it yet. Um, I always like to have the water surface there just for reference. So we don't have anything in our in our model yet. Um, we need to add a rigid body. We'll call this generic frigate and the thing about motion RAOs is that it's a it's a kinematic mode of modeling the system that is to say um, another application has already calculated the resulting ship motion as a function of whatever the individual waves are that are there so for every sinusoidal wave you have in a wave state that's just superimposes the resulting expected motion in the six degrees of freedom accordingly. So there's advantages and disadvantages of modeling things this way. Um, it's it's neither right nor wrong. Uh, it's just a different way of doing things. But for rigid bodies, we will need to um, select mode three, kinematic mode three, RAO. And what that's gonna do is it's going to, if you right click and then click on resolve follower properties, it'll say, okay, well, you wanna use RAOs. Well, what's the, where is the, where's the RAO database? file for this. So this is a feature, generic frigate, frigate, there we are. Uh, I'm just going to call it that for the for our library. If you go right click and go to feature definition, it's it's not detected in the library. I mean, it's a blank project, so we don't really have much of anything in the library at the moment. Um, anyway, I like to go through this way, uh, cr go to feature definition, and it'll create for you uh, the, the feature. And then um, what we need to do is the only file that you, uh, it's the only property in here is the file path to that. So we're just literally going to copy and paste it there. Uh, by definition, um, uh, if you've set up your ship model such that the, the ship mode 3D tool set reference frames at the aft perpendicular, you know, if you set things up accordingly um, in, in Proteus DS, um, it should work directly. Um, I believe that the motion RAO by default is printing out all the motions by the, the ship center of gravity. So by by default, we've got the center of gravity here coincident with the rigid body frame and, and uh, everything should work out coincidentally. Um, but we don't have a visualization mesh for this. So let's just um, uh, go to insert property visualization model here. Generic frigate visualization. Now I happen to have a mesh already done for this. And we'll save it here. There we go. Now, uh, I believe it's not showing up in here because I haven't actually got the files in the project folder, which is in here. 
So I'll paste them in there. And we'll go to feature definition. Um, there we are. It's just with one little change, it's uh, loaded it up there. Okay, um, now one thing to note is um, depending on your meshing program, now this is purely for visualization only, um, depending on your meshing program that you've used, the, um, the reference frame may be different. It looks like there's an uh, x-axis rotation offset that's different here, um, and the, the ship frame seems to, the visualization frame seems to already be lined up with the center of gravity, so I think we're good here. Otherwise, we just have x, y, z offset, and then roll about x, pitch about y, uh, yaw about z. So if we do 180 degrees here, okay, that's looking good. All right, so we've got this ship model set up. Um, we have some uh, 60 seconds of simulation. Um, now would be the time to do some testing with some simulation results here. So what we'll do is we'll turn on some area waves uh, in the environment section, set this to wave type one, control follower properties, uh, or sorry, resolve follower properties. We'll just do something like a nice sort of swell wave condition, maybe something like 15 seconds. Um, this is a great way, so uh, just to be clear on conventions, uh, make sure you understand that uh, wave heading is, um, uh, that that's the, it's going to follow the compass indicator here, so wave heading of zero, it's going to go uh, north, so this would be, in this case, a following C, um, but we could turn that around and do uh, a he head wave condition, so let's just do that, and with a nice 15 second long wave, we should see, you know, the system following the waves pretty well. And it should look natural, especially at lower lower period waves. And let's just try it right now. And it runs very fast, as it's all very uh, it's all kinematic. So we'll load post PDS here and load the whole scenario. I think we can we can turn off our visualizer window, pre visualizer window here. Okay, there's the frigate, and there will be some ramping up waves. Uh, effects. Oh, uh, maybe I haven't turned on wave ramping. This looks pretty what I'd be expect to see. Um, it's tracking the water surface really well. Um, the, uh, the the pitch is following the slope of the wave as I'd expect. You can check out a beam wave condition as well and see it following and heave and pitch. So I'm thinking this is looking like the reference frames are all set up correctly and everything is looking good. Um, maybe the next question you might have is, um, is there a way to have it be driving around or to have changing conditions? Um, so there is a way to do that, and how you want to do that is with the um, forward speed yaw rate schedule feature. So what this allows you to do is to schedule through the simulation time um, when you want to change the resulting um, uh, forward speed and turning rate in terms of degrees per second. So uh, right off the bat, uh, the first column here is time, so we'll leave it at the beginning. We'll just say that right off the bat we've got a forward speed of 5 meters per second. Now um, you just add more rows to add more detail here. Uh, it's going to linear interpolate through time, so if you want to have, you know, just add more, as many data points as you want. Um, and what I'm going to do after this point is uh, going to maintain forward speed and then at 30, 31 section, seconds I'm going to transition to you know, a, a very, uh, uh, we'll do two degrees per second uh, turning rate. And this is 60, 60 second simulation, so what we should see is the system driving forward and turning. So we'll run the simulation. And it's completed with some new, uh, new data here. And what we can do is just click on attempt to reload. I really like this option. Just a little bit less clicking. And now we've got the new simulation data here. And if we just play this, I'm just grabbing the cursor and sliding it so it goes a bit faster. It's going at forward speed, and then halfway through, it's got a turning rate there in addition to the forward speed. Uh, don't forget also, um, you can right click and lock the uh, camera on this object, and that's kind of a nice option. You just follow along as the ship is moving and uh, get an idea of what the motion is like too. So, we just wanted to show um, a way to do a visualization of uh, Shipmo 3D toolset calculated uh, motions in uh, ProDSDS. Thanks for watching.